right, here we are. Here we are, Nick. Back in the studio. It's been a couple weeks. Dude, the studio is officially lit. <laughs> It, it it has been lit. It yes. has been lit. It got lit. It is it is on fire. We increase the amount of lights. We increase the amount of lights, dude. I'm so hyped on these. On yeah, these no, these neons. neon signs are cool. We got it. We got to like yeah. shout out to the neon signs. Shout out to Etsy. <laughs> shout out to yeah. Uh, you two told months. me to buy. You said, hey, buy this thing off of Etsy, and then you bought yours on Amazon well, the next day, and it got here in two days, it, and my shit took three weeks to get here. Yours is like, this one was a little more common that we went with, uh, and I, I I felt like it was, it's good representation of, uh, of a Yeezy over there and yeah. an Air Force One over here. That's an Air Jordan over there. <laughs> and I already blew it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, an AJ1 over here. Mm-hmm. I was I, I wasn't sure if it was a dunk or an AJ one when I got it, but I looked at it for a long time. It's definitely a Jordan one. It's definitely yeah. a Jordan one, for sure. Because the dunk, the like wing things come up from a lower position, like a lower yeah. point on the shoe. So. And then this goes whatever. It's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. No, we got it. We we got it. We figured. We it nailed out. it. We nailed it. Uh. But yeah, we 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 had to take a week or two off the studio because someone else might have gotten COVID and then actually didn't, but like we didn't want to take right. the chance. And then I went fishing last weekend and it was cold and I caught nothing, but it was still a good time. Oh yeah, and that's why it's so, two weeks. Yeah, it's been a little while, but we're back. We are. Better than ever. Yeah, dude. Drinking bush light uh, and oh, whatever whoops. that is. This is a uh, Aha Sparkling Water. It has electrolytes and caffeine cool. in it. So we're getting juiced up in here. Yep. And charged up. Charged up to bring the finest of podcasts <laughs> that the world has ever seen. Yeah, man. At least one person thinks so. We have to shout oh, yeah, yeah, out. We, we got a out. review Yeah. on Apple Podcasts from a man named Waffles32. Dude, W-A-F-F-L-Z-32. Spelt the right way. Waffles. Waffles. Yeah, Waffles, shout out to you. Thank you. This actually did make my day when I read it. We did read it a little late, yeah, but we did not forget about it. No, he he posted this on September eleventh, twenty twenty. Never forget. <laughs> you got we it. will never forget this review. You got, you got the joke. I said we didn't forget about it. Anyway, he said it was funny and on topic. Yes, and his review is: I love this podcast. I'm a shoe collector, and I like to laugh. This has it all. Oh heck yeah! Thank you so much, Waffles Thirty Two. Yeah, you are our first review from a person that we didn't. That isn't Personally, one of our no. friends. We're gonna we said, find hey, out. Go review the podcast, please. Like you're the first one who's a real person. Thank you so much. Hit us up on uh in, in on Instagram. Yeah, slide uh, into our DMs. Yeah, it's size ten <laughs> podcast on Instagram. Hit us up in the DMs. Eventually, we're gonna make merch, and when we do, we'll send you some yeah. merch. We'll send so, it your way. I'm on. I'm, I'm. I'm working on the merch. And you know what? Even if you're not the real Waffles Thirty Two, and you hit us up. It means you listen to the podcast, yeah. and that's kind of good enough for us at the moment. And thank you so much for that. That's a great way of plugging the um, Instagram. Yeah. So, so yeah, like the Instagram. Make sure you su- or uh, whatever you do on Instagram, uh, follow the Instagram. Follow. That's what you do. Yeah. Instagram, I'm a Instagram nah, dude. In- you got to think about it like this. Instagram is like a cult <laughs> that you're creating. It's just a bunch of cults. Yeah. And you get followers versus mm. versus subscribers, which is like you're like a magazine. <laughs> Yeah. Which is what we are on. Um, on Apple and, and YouTube and on, all those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On like YouTube, we have yeah, a I'm magazine s- subscription. I'm slowly figuring it's out free. the internet. I'm, I'm from Montana. We only got the internet. Recently? Yeah, yeah. After dude, you did. Dude, for Sorry. real though, for real, I remember growing up, I like went to a camp. And this was when I was in like eighth grade. Uh-huh. And somebody in my camp asked me, when they found out I was from Montana, they asked like legit. Do you guys have the internet? That's amazing. I mean, I this... do love it, uh, people like I say that I'm I'm obviously just fucking around and, and being an idiot. Yeah. But, like there are people that would believe that like, Montana only got the internet in like 2009. Dude, it was I was like, what? And then I got real upset. And then later on in the camp, I told a story about how um, it, I don't know if this ever happened at your school. This always happened. It was like a stupid senior prank that would happen. In the Montana Constitution, all of the schools have to have facilities. I think they changed it by now, but like when I was in high school, mm-hmm. they uh, they have to have facilities to house and um, 
take care of, like stable your horses. They had to have a place to stable your horses. And it was just like one of those weird yeah. laws that just never really got overwritten and didn't really matter. Well, I feel like it probably <laughs> originated like 100 years ago. Most towns in Montana were literally like a place where you could deliver your grain and it could be picked up by a train. Like like every it was based on agriculture. Right. It's like the main thing people did out there. So probably people. So the took schools. The to school. Yeah, exactly. The schools had to have a place yeah. like legally. They had to like put it in the constitution because some cheap ass schools are trying to slide in and just yeah, like and not have a stable yeah, for then, people's horses. You know, you came out of math class. It's damn like building. Horse ran away. Dude, it's like building an apartment building in Portland, and not putting any parking in it. <laughs> <laughs> Except for except for they do legal. that. <laughs> except that's legal, and this wasn't and common <laughs> and kind of recommended by a lot of people. Uh, they seem to like to do that. They're like, I it's get good it. for the environment. They're like, no, it's good for you being able yeah. to optimize the space and not have to build a parking yeah, garage. I, I love that they'd be like, we're an environmentally friendly building. We don't even have a garage because we don't believe in cars. We don't, it's you like, should, no, you're cheap. And you we also don't believe in shoes. You should walk barefoot. <laughs> everywhere <laughs> well that ain't happening we got plenty of shoes dude speaking of shoes we've got some cool shoes yeah we do in the house today these are the sakai blazers in the, the blue and white and black what's the colorway called david i just had you look it up and then then i didn't remember colorway is a uh, white black legend blue okay white black and legend blue legend blue they're the blue ones I imagine the the legend is Jordan. Yeah, because it's no, it matches his old it's, school. Uh, the UNC. Yeah, yeah, it is, UNC yeah. It colors. is UNC yeah. blue, but but these the blazer isn't really a silhouette that has anything to do with Michael Jordan. It doesn't. It came out. The blazers were like the original Nike basketball shoe. They're named the blazer because of the Portland Trail Blazers, which I didn't know. I, I I didn't realize. I put yeah. it together. I was I remember the moment I put it together. I was on the bus at the bus area that's mm -hmm. in front of this the the Mata center yeah and uh i was like oh that's why it's called the blazers i get it the team and the shoe oh my mind was exploding and i couldn't tell anybody because i was alone on the bus damn you could have told everybody i should have the bus i really should have i've literally run if there's into there's ever been a place to just announce <laughs> just something like, oh, that would be the funniest. just out of nowhere back of the bus you're like Oh, that's why Nike called us shoe the Blazers. I get it now. It would be like the tenth weirdest thing at the most that happened to that bus driver that day. He'd just be like, "Oh, at least this crazy guy's only talking about shoes." Oh. Like that would be all that would happen. We don't to have you. to get. We don't have to get everyone off the bus and get into a new bus because something gross just happened. Yeah, we don't have to sanitize with this one. That's nice. That's pretty much all that would have happened. He's just an I idiot. Think, I think you should have yelled that. <laughs> I should have. Next time you have a big realization on the bus, dude, I'm gonna let it fly. Dude, I'm gonna journal that. Thank you. It's a great opening line for That's, my journal. Yeah, you see, we don't just talk about shoes here. We help people through psychological hard times. Yep. You know, when you have a dispute in your mind and you're like, "Should I yell on the bus?" You know, go ahead. I don't feel like I need to do more back. stuff like that. I need to stop being like yeah, so. Yeah, you should yell random things in public way more i really should i <laughs> i don't so often i'm like oh that'll be weird and then i really should i should just like dude after i it's, i think covid is just like getting to me into that where i am gonna come out of, out of this and just gonna like say random shit yeah to people like yeah, inappropriate I stuff or i think it'd be somewhat fun. appropriate stuff yeah, no i'll be somewhere close but not right next to you when you do it and oh, i'll play. enjoy whatever happens okay cool cool deal and, and, and i'll come in if they if they attack you i'll like fight them off You'll, yeah and and if it's really funny i'll be like yo uh do you like that it's a little sample uh we have a podcast yeah, where we just I'll do this kind of shit film it first yeah film it and, and <laughs> for the put it up on our on our instagram <laughs> yeah but then like right when it's starting to get really brutal i'll come i'll come in and save you yeah because make no mistake i can throw some hands I I dude. took Taekwondo in fifth grade. Oh, I can fifth grade? Fuck oh, some people damn. up. Dude, I did like katas, you know? No, I don't know what those are. It's and... where you it's it's where you don't actually fight at all. It's more of like a dance and you just like do oh, a cute. series of moves in a formation. That's what I did. <laughs> that does, like, you so did. like 
it, it like, is. I'm just picturing I had, some. I, I had picture zero a, enthusiasm. I picture just you getting attacked, and then you just start ballroom dancing yeah. with the person. No, you're that, just like you're like, yeah, would you're going to be the woman role in this that one. That actually is more intimidating. <laughs> you give than them what like I, a dip and spin them and twirl them. <laughs> like, yeah, actually, that that sounds more intimidating to just have a <laughs> random man on the street. I'm I'm assuming this assailant is also a man <laughs> just like, to just like start doing the jitterbug with you or some <laughs> shit. Like that's <laughs> way <laughs> scarier. <laughs> than what I was doing Someone in Taekwondo. A, yeah, they throw a punch and just like, Ugh. Yeah, because the Taekwondo and I was doing is like, <laughs> like you would you would do like a punch like this and then a block and then a kick and then turn around. It was it was literally like a like a series of moves and I did them with no like I didn't go like pow like that. I yeah. did like a like a nice form, like a slow no. motion punch. And then like like people who cared they would like, you know, they do their it's called a I think a key eye or something. That's when you yell, "Hey!" You know, like that's when a you're... cheap car too. Yeah, yeah. I, Taekwondo <laughs> is Korean. Cobra key eye. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you're supposed to be like, "Hey!" And I would just be like, "Hey!" Like I, I was so. <laughs> it was the lowest energy, fucking karate that anyone has ever. Or Taekwondo karate is Japanese or something. It's a different kind of martial yeah. art. Anyhow. Dude, was... haven't you watched the Karate Kid? That's how you do it. You I... do slow well, movements, and then when you're in the sitch, in exactly, the exactly, then you pull, and then then you, you just can do it fast. A savant. Yeah, yeah. I that's what I've been counting on. Is I'm like <laughs> somewhere in the back of my head, there's a lot of of like martial arts fighting skills that mm -hmm. that just sort of I absorbed through osmosis or something when I was doing my it's repetitive like, movements. Yeah, I was just like you're like paint the fence. It's like the paint I'm the fence fighting. Yeah, and then, like, when the I car. get into a fight, I'll just be like, I remember. And then I'll just, I'll be like, the, like, yeah, I'll just be pulling out all kinds of skills. So, anyway, you're in, in perfectly safe hands. Go and yell. Okay, sick, dude. On the street yeah, or whatever I feel safer already. Yeah. <laughs> in the arms of a scalzone. <laughs> all right. So, let's... <laughs> I just don't have anywhere to go with this anymore. I feel like this double I, laces. I'm gonna kill the bit here. That's all right, dude. Whatever. But yeah, these these are the these are the Sakai blazers. I believe this was one of the first two. There was four colorways of the blazer that the Sakai collab ended up. Double dropping. the laces, double the fun. Exactly. Da, 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 da. But How this this colorway, and then there was one that was like yellow and red and white. And those two dropped first. I didn't get any of them. I I wanted these like on the drop day. I woke up. I clicked on them on sneakers. I took the L. Mm -hmm. And they immediately went way up in price. And I was like, I can't afford those. I'm not going to spend $400 or whatever on a pair of shoes. They're really cool. They're, what they did is they layered the blazer and I believe the dunk high. Like I think this... This bit, the the like trim piece where the, all the eyelets are, yeah, is from the dunk high. There's two swooshes, one from the blazer, one from the dunk high. And then, uh, are you sure it's not the the one? I'm pretty sure it's actually the this... dunk high. Oh no, you're right. One. It's the yeah, yeah it's, it's the, the dunk, dunk high. high. So that's why there's two tongues. That's why there's two swooshes. Then there's all these pieces. Like it looks like they fixed it with tape. They didn't. They intentionally made it look like they fixed it with tape because it's called fashion. And uh, <laughs> okay. And yeah, oh. I just think they're cool. They're a big, crazy, loud shoe. And so fashion's just about making it look like you put a bunch of tape on something. Yeah, it's about <laughs> making it look broken and worn out, but it's right. actually new and expensive. I know. Whenever I see those things that like like, like there's, golden goose, like there's those new. There's like some new. Um, adidas adidas that are coming out uh that like look dirty uh-huh and i'm like those are cool but like i don't want the ripped jeans of shoes you know yeah where it just is i like, ended oh. up getting these at index shout out to index pdx i was with you follow them on instagram if you want to but they're a business and not affiliated with us but they're great and they should be they should sponsor us or something they should be our best friends Anyway, they're a, they're a consignment shop downtown, and I got these there, and these were used, and I paid two hundred and fifty dollars, and I thought that was a good price. They were like barely used, 
And now I have them and I didn't have to pay a really exorbitant amount. I got the, yeah. So. They got the unfinished tongue on the top where it looks like it is just like cut. Yeah. Actually, the regular blazer has that tongue. Really? Yep. I'm, I had a couple pairs of SB blazers and I don't remember much of them. Yeah. But. What uh, do you think about these? Uh, I definitely slept on them, and and when you got them, I was like, you were like really wanting to get them, and you were asking me for my opinion, and I was there, and I was just like, I don't know, dude. I wasn't that hyped on them, but I do, like looking at them up close, I like the quality of this leather is really nice. Yeah, the, the leather quality is tone, really nice. There's like two tones of leather, which I like. It's like the black part's got this like under, it, it's like a softer what is that a tumbled leather and then the other one's like almost like a like a more like a full grain yeah like what you like would usually nice have leather. and it's just kind of cool to have these blends of textures and um things i do appreciate that and i i appreciate the the that they they do have some loud aspects that are kind of fun and like the double laces and it's just like it does the reason i slept on these in my opinion is because it kind of feels like when fashion tries to make something like when people do stuff to like make it more unique in their own mm -hmm. and then fashion goes, Oh yeah, let's do that. And then they kind of mass market it to everybody. Sure. And so that was, that what, was what aspect of this makes it look like, is it just like the way the soul is like overlapping itself? Like somebody taped it up. Yeah. So like, and, and the funny thing is I, we got to have my buddy, Alan Gerlock, mm -hmm. shout out to Alan Gerlock. He loves, he's a, a professional snow skater okay. that I used to travel with and stuff. Good friend of mine, like um, Minneapolis dude. He always rocked blazers. He was all about blazers, but he kind of hated the, um, he's such a funny, I, I, I'm talking for him, but like he hated the like thing of Nike and supporting Nike because of this giant corporation. Mm -hmm. Like he wouldn't g buy gas from Shell gas stations or BP because of something. And I don't even remember what it was. It was like yeah. something happened in a Gulf. Yeah, they, or, spilled, they like, spilled oil. In is that what it was? <laughs> I feel like every oil company has dumped some oil in an ocean like, somewhere. Because Exxon dumped a lot of And that oil was my point. Alaska. I was like, dude. My mom boycotted Exxon for like ever. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So he boycotted once Shell. I kind of, I kind of realized that they're all monsters, and so it was like I still got to go somewhere. It's I, the devil, you whoever know. Whoever is closest. I all right, I don't <laughs> care anymore. I mean, it definitely had an effect on me, and I always felt guilty from that point when I learned that mm -hmm. on. Whenever I did go to a Shell gas station, or like if there was a choice, I would just be like, ah, eh, I guess I'm going. Yeah, BP Exxon. is the ones that blew up in the Gulf. Yeah. I don't know who, what Shell did. I don't remember, but he was. Uh, Maybe they named it Shell to commemorate all the seashells that. <laughs> they fucked yeah. up yeah that they that they, they just destroyed. poisoned a giant ocean full of seashells and they were like well let's remember them <laughs> this is a tribute so dude so many times i'd be on trips with alan and we would get to the there was a couple of times where we like got to a point where we were running we were out of gas like mm -hmm. we were completely out of gas and i could not find another gas station and he was like no we're not going to the shell gas station <laughs> and uh I was like, dude, we're going to run out of gas. We don't, and this is before G. We well, he also didn't believe in GPSs, which is what it is. Whatever. I I like adventures too, but I also get annoyed when I can't well, find. That's how things. the government keeps track. Yeah, yeah. We were in like Canada or something somewhere, and we didn't know where we were lost, mm -hmm. and we were running out of gas. And all I could find, I literally found three Shell gas stations that were like close to each other, and I was like, dude. I'm just gonna do and he was so mad he got out of the car and he just walked away and I was like well hope I can find him because his cell phone is with me uh, mm -hmm. and we are in another country anyway <laughs> anyways I put like not a full tank I just put like a half tank or something in then I went and found him and we finished our trip anyway so he didn't like he liked blazers but, but he, he didn't, didn't like, like supporting swoosh. Nike so he would take the the swooshes off okay and flip them upside down and this is before uh, I almost said Tiger Woods. I meant to Travis say Travis Scott. Scott flipped the swoosh. Flipped backwards. the swoosh backwards, but he would do them upside down. He would put them upside mm -hmm. down, and he would do little customizations of his sneakers. Or like we would do that for like our snow skate stuff. Like we would, mm. we were all about customizing. It was more for function. But then our shoes would end up looking kind of like this because we'd be like repairing them so much. 
that they would look kind of like this. And so this sort of is reminiscent to my buddy Alan. Um, and that's what it makes me think of whenever I see it. Uh, and just doing doing like shoe customizations. I really appreciate that. Or like, mm -hmm. and where that happens is for me is this. This doesn't look, you know, this doesn't look commercial. Yeah. Uh, the double swoosh, like the double swoosh is like, but he would do it by like taking it off another shoe. That's the other thing he would do is he would like take this, he'd unstitch the swooshes. I mean, we just glue them back. We'd glue them on, mm -hmm. but it would be the wrong swoosh for the shoe. So his shoe would look like nobody else's shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, I, I've always really cool. liked that. Yeah. Um, and that I think really is indicative of like a lot of sneaker culture is rarity. Mm -hmm. And when you do a customization, you have one that is completely unique in yeah. my opinion. You know, it's like an engine swap or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like putting your Hellcat motor in a Baja. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So. Uh, but I do, I do actually like these. I don't think I would do four hundred for them personally. Yeah, what? Because I don't do that with any sneakers. David, could you pull those up on StockX and see what they're going for? So we're not telling the people a false. Dude, number. I was looking at getting new ski boots the other day, and I found these ones for two hundred and fifty bucks. And it was funny because I was like hesitant to getting them, mm -hmm. and then Jody's like, "You spend that on sneakers." All the time. And I was like, oh, very good point. <laughs> so they're going in, in size 10, which these are. They're going for 375 right now. Ooh. Could you scroll down so we can see what the... Oh, go back up uh, to just under... So they retailed at 140 So 140 to 375 is a pretty good um, bump in price. And 140 to 250 used is still a big bump in price. Like, I definitely didn't get these for retail. You have two fifty is what you paid. Two fifty is what I paid. That's the biggest like resale markup I've ever paid. This is wild. This part, yeah, so thick. It is. It's really thick. They seem like they'll be pretty durable. Yeah, these are uh, they're like a. And I've worn them. I've I wear them. I like wearing those. Yeah, they're, they're fun to wear. They're big and crazy, and uh, and yeah, I think they're gonna be. I'll keep wearing them. We'll are see. the lace holes bigger for the two laces or anything like that? Uh, sort of, not, I don't think significantly. I think they're just, the the laces in there are kind of tight. Like they don't, they don't slip around or anything. Like you kind of have to put some. Cause there's twice the laces, dude. Yeah. Double that's... the laces. So anyway, that's why I'm, I'm thinking they didn't like oversize the lace holes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause then they would, whatever. It's anyway. Loose. Those are the shoes. I think we might've covered it on the yeah. shoes. Yeah. Yeah. So. What else going on, dude? You got got anything? I <laughs> dude, have a lot going on. I straight mean, up, like just looking at dude. You did some shows though. You did some parking lot I shows. I did. You're you're right. David and I both. I wussed out. When you did, <laughs> aka I act to work in the morning, and I was like, I know how comedy works. It means I'm gonna be up till two in the morning. No, I was up till eleven, and I had to work in the morning too. And so, I I rarely have to work in the morning. I'm hearing <laughs> excuses that I don't accept. But anyway, you didn't show up. <laughs> David and I went, and we did. I love, I love how I, I was not asking for acceptance, <laughs> like, like, uh, excuse accepted, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's satisfactory. Excuse not accepted. Uh, thanks for keeping me on my toes, Nick. Exactly. So yeah, David and I went, and it, it was fun. There was like a tent to keep us out of the rain. Everybody brought their own microphone. The host stood like fifteen feet behind you, so it's a, it was all like COVID safe. And everybody was in their cars, except mm -hmm. for the ones who were not in their cars and were hanging around talking to each other, not paying attention to comedy, because that's how open mics work. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, That's half of, of people, comedy, dude. It, it was the main thing I went there for. <laughs> but, like, that and to do my own comedy, but, like... I really miss the hang culture a lot. Yeah, the hang was fun. David, you agree? Oh, yeah. That was yeah. awesome. It was a good time. And yeah. We got on the news. We did. Oh, that's we're, right. At, oh, at 14 seconds, 14 in, that seconds news clip, in, you can very briefly see a blurry David and a blurry me standing next to a blurry David's car yes. for like hell yeah half a second. I'm wearing a hat and a mask. Like you can't see who the hell anybody is, but you made the morning news. We did. We're that's as comedy milestone. That's <laughs> oh, the first did. time that we've both been on TV for comedy. So Have I no. There you go. I did. You're welcome. Dude, I'll, I'll I'll help your career. Cool. As a as a comic that's been on TV, <laughs> let me offer you 
<laughs> you should use that as your next credit. Next time you go up on stage, be like, 14 seconds Yo, into the... <laughs> timestamp <laughs> 0 dot dot 1 4. Check out Dude, timestamp dot 1 4. Some That's of the me. bullshit. I mean, you could you could just be like, as seen on... What's the station called? <laughs> as seen on KGW, <laughs> as whatever. As on KGW, Portland. <laughs> like, Take use that forever for your credit. <laughs> Take the screenshot and make that your Facebook cover photo. <laughs> It's it just it's it's like it looks like the sort of like the Bigfoot Sasquatch yeah. blurry photo, but it's like it's Nick standing next it's, to a car. Yeah, <laughs> no, the Sasquatch photo was definitely clearer, but I was on TV and so was David. So you right. are in the presence of of a rare breed of comic here that's been on TV. I think you get SAG certification. Right? I I intend to. Yeah. I mean, you can apply. Extra health insurance. I... <laughs> Get your health insurance through that. That's fine. Hell yeah. No, I'm 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 making it big. So yeah, it was fun. We did comedy in a parking lot. Like people would honk their horn to laugh. Yeah. You know, and we both achieved a number of honks. We mm. achieved some silence. It was it was a thing to do on a Wednesday. Cool. How many comics made the honky joke? Or is that not like the hacky? I was trying to think of like what's the hacky like, ugh, like everyone's making a joke about being a, a honky comedian or some bullshit like this, that. It, it ran for nine weeks. I have to imagine, like, week one or two, somebody said the honky joke. <laughs> There's, like, the honky yeah, joke, we, the mask. It ran for, I what, of, nine I or ten weeks? Saying, I thought it'd be like, what's up, honkies? <laughs> but, yeah, you should always say that. Should you should just... <laughs> It'll come back. David, they, they next kick, one. They kick comedy out of that particular parking lot, but... I'm sure a new parking lot will, well, will arise. Well, I bet you, yeah, I bet you some place has one that's like, that saw the news story and just reached out. Yeah. That would be a good one. So, Dude, that just like reminded me of like when I first started comedy, there was the, dude, I love in, in small comedy scenes, the like weird things that just cause so much drama. And I was involved in this thing that was just, it was stupid. It was silly, silly drama. Just like any time here, whenever they release like a top 10 comedians and everyone's like, there's not enough, whatever, whatever there's not enough of. Yeah. Like, like you barely represented what I, I like or or they're like the opposite. They're like, yeah, I don't even know. You Too know? many people with glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's always <laughs> like the visually impaired or overrepresented yeah, exactly. on this list. <laughs> exactly. So, And I, for one, will not be silent. <laughs> uh, Twitter. <laughs> I'm going to tweet about Willamette Weekly. <laughs> Your list is bullshit. Yeah, because lists are bullshit. Some people wear contacts. <laughs> they still can't see well, but they want to look good. And the rest of you gave up, and they're <laughs> catering to people that put glasses on. I yeah. mean, I know I'm, I'm kind of like, it sounds like I'm complaining. I honestly, I've never been on one of those lists, and I've also never complained about any of them. So whatever. I well, feel like I, your I'm in a glasses good position. frames aren't dark enough. Yeah. It, it all, oh, it's, God. <laughs> from a distance, it looks like you could be not wearing glasses. <laughs> yeah. That's, and dude, these are Nike. As I said, that's a corporate These are the glasses. Sakai. Are, uh... <laughs> that's big glasses. They know that you support big glasses. And this Dude. is Portland. You have to go. You have to get some shit that's car carved out of like a local a tree local that died tree. on its own. In a park. Yeah, like a tree that died of natural causes. Of we like don't want to cut it down. Dog pee. Just yeah, overwhelming. Rescue dogs. Rescue dog it. pee. <laughs> and then it fell over eventually. And they were like, how do we commemorate this treat? Let's make glasses. Thick rim glasses for, for the hipsters. For visually impaired or hipsters who want to pretend they are. <laughs> and then you should get some of those. And I, you'll be in every magazine. Okay, cool, cool. As a comic who's been yeah. on TV, I feel like uh, I can dude, offer I, you I appreciate this advice. Your yeah, your solicited advice. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Anything I can do <laughs> to help. Okay, you see, when I back before I'd been on TV, I was I was always hoping <laughs> you're just holding back. I really... someone would be like, "This is the key." And 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 now that I've been on, see these dark frame glasses. Yeah, yeah. They were prominently featured in that very very blurry photo of me see, that I briefly feel like appeared on the news. I even, dude, I've been going for it. Like I even went with clear on the case. Yeah, you see, like the, the clear dude is I holding went, you back. I went. I was like bold oh, colors, bold colors, bold solid colors. Okay, uh, see, they show you're a solid I did, guy. I did the wood glasses for a while, and I just wanted to switch it up with these, so I got them. And that they was do your mistake. Perpetually look dirty. 
I mean, maybe that's just my own personal hygiene issues. <laughs> You're just but blinking dirt into your I head. don't know. It's never. Yeah. All right. So when I first started comedy, <laughs> I uh, they they did a, like the local newspaper did like a story on the comedy mm-hmm. scene. Mm-hmm. And they went to some shows and some open mics. And I had legit been doing comedy for like, I don't know, maybe like a week or two. Uh And I got the largest photo in the story. And everyone was so upset because a lot of people were like, who the hell is this? And I just remember I walked into a green room and everyone was like talking so much shit. And I was just kind of like in the corner. And then they were like, yeah, that's Bjorn. And I'm like... Who the fuck is that? <laughs> it was like, bah, bah, bah. he just, and I, I should, I'll show you guys the photo. Um, uh, I don't have it here. Um, but I like that they created, they wrote a story that was perfect about open mic comedy. They used the perfect picture for open mic comedy, which is somebody brand new that no one knows. Like, yeah. That's kind of what the intention that's what, was. That's what open mic comedy is, is every mic. There's some goofball you've never seen before. Dude, I and you th- just happen to be that goofball that I day, think, and that's fine. I think I had like a shaved face at the time. I don't think I had sh- facial hair, but I was wearing like a flannel shirt. I was just like you were every single. Comedian? I was. I really like nailed it on comedian. <laughs> Flannel like, shirt. <laughs> like, and I was doing, Looks I had a this little bit where I was are. like doing some big Glasses. physical act out and they mm-hmm. caught me like mid- They caught you. Like, I don't even Woo. remember. Yeah. I was like humping the stool. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, that's open mic comedy. <laughs> I wasn't humping You were the either stool. humping the stool or, or you had the mic down here and you were using yeah, it yeah, as yeah, a yeah. dick. No, it was like, I was doing something that didn't, it wasn't very, uh. I don't know. It's kind of nondescript. I think it's on my. I think it's on a very early Instagram. I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna find it because I took a picture of the newspaper and put it on Instagram. <laughs> it's like one of my very first Instagram photos ever. Okay, come on, dude. Let's load, load it up, load it up. <laughs> I'll just, I'll, I'll keep doing it and okay. we'll just keep talking. Yeah. Uh, so you were sending me pictures of motorcycles, dude. You send me. Here's here's the thing with Bjorn does. Which is about about three times a week. I want to know what your opinion is of this too. Like like okay, let's get that. Not that particular motorcycle, but just like two or three times a week, Bjorn will at some point like somehow tell me I should get a motorcycle. Oh yeah okay yeah. And then and then one. just as frequently he tells me things of financial advice like you should make sure you live within your means and don't get yourself into a position. Where you need like this high paying job <laughs> to live a lifestyle. And then you're like, hey, oh, you look at these fuzzy sneakers. <laughs> get a motorcycle. And you can't really give those two pieces of advice back to back every week, but you do. So, oh, wow. That doesn't. E- Did I describe the photo? I'm going to show. Oh, I suppose that could be you. That looks different than you now. Yeah. But yeah. Show that to the, to the people. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. My hand. Our producer day. That's the photo. That that's a young Bjorn. A young it Bjorn. A young... I was like, I think he's actually older than both of us. In that, look picture. at all that hair. God damn. Just marginally, you're 27, right? Yep. And I'll be 27 in a it's month. Hard, it's hard to so. remember. Let's see. Wait. Does it say what year that? Oh, did I close it? But roughly our age. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. It's so from... yeah. Anyway, wait, Bjorn... this is from January 4th of. 2013. Holy shit, I was uh so I had in just college. I'd kind of just started. I said was taken. First, I think that's my first Instagram. I was about to fail calculus 2. Dude, that's my first Instagram post ever. Yeah. Was that a picture of that I didn't second even have one? An Instagram for like 3 more high. years. Second one was big playing Big Buck Hunter, Hunter with my roommate Fuck on yes. on our porch, dude. We had dude. a t- I had it Okay, so I had this TV Dude, that... your life has gone downhill. <laughs> we you had would... fucking big buck hunter on your porch? Dude. <laughs> Sorry. There's my how, roommate. How old were you? you see, this is that's, 2000, This that's is January when, 11th. That's when your life peaked. <laughs> so what happened big was... Big buck hunter on the porch. I, I worked a door-to-door sales job, and I found a... I, I was working, mm-hmm. and there was a TV that just said free. And it was like... Not a flat screen. It was like one of those huge, a round screen like yeah, yeah, a round the big, screen. The big but dude, it was like whatever. it was like huge. It was really big, and it just said free works. And I was like, 
fuck it. And I brought it to our house and there was like no space for it. Mm -hmm. And just kind of jokingly, I just like left it on the porch and then I plugged it in and then we didn't have TV or anything or even because you had to have like a player or something to play into the TV. All we had was this plug and play um, game of Buck Buck Hunter. Hunter. So we would sit on these old couches and just play Buck Hunter on our, it was like a four seasons porch in Minnesota. Dude, it's sick. That is amazing. That sounds so fun. That sounds like the best house to go and get drunk I at. I think I just got rid of it. I don't think the, the Buck Hunter thing just kind of sucked and didn't like work the guys, well anymore. Like, that sounds like so much. For people who routinely drink bush light, that's the best <laughs> weekend you can have, is sitting on a front porch drinking bush light, lots of them. I mean, in that photo, I don't know what he's drinking. Buck it's not out of a bottle. Sitting on old couches? That sounds amazing. Uh, I'm not just sure Just talking what shit, getting yelled at by the neighbors. See, I started this account with my i uh, not my I didn't have an iPhone. I had a I had an iPod Touch. Hell yeah! <laughs> so I had <laughs> that's how I started my Instagram. I never twenty thirteen. Anyway, so you routinely will tell me to live within oh, yeah, yeah. my means, and then the next day tell me to buy a motorcycle, and then repeat this process. And I I I I'm I think I've cooled it on telling you to buy a motorcycle. You have you 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 have done it a little. I'm less just frequently, showing. But... I'm just like I've gotten to the point where I'm just like this is cool. I need to somebody else to appreciate it with yeah. me to feel so newest, like I appreciate it. The newest it. one is what's it called? The Earl? Dude, that one's the old. That's the original. That's actually what got me in a motorcycle interest in the first place. No, this is just the newest one that you've oh, that I've sent, sent you know? me a v- picture it's of. It's the stupidest motorcycle. It's the ultimate pointless purchase. I've n- yet to find any kind of utilitarian use for this. Aren't they actually like a really good motorcycle? No, they're though? terrible. They oh. break down constantly. Oh, I thought they were tough. Oh, they're, they're Russian. so bad. And they're the original. It's the original. I thought they were like the AK-47 of motorcycles. Doesn't the AK like lock up all the time? No, the AK is reliable. People it's... like, dude, like pirates jump in the ocean and jump back out with AKs and start <laughs> gunning people down. What's like, the one that jams all the time? I don't know. The the AR I think is also pretty good. I, there's some piece of shit it's, guns, but I don't think it's either. I guess of those. it's kind. I guess maybe it's sort of like the AK. It's just like it. They notoriously break down all the time. Okay. Like a lot. The Earl. They've done almost nothing. Mm-hmm. I think it's Ural, but I Ural. Don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, they you they're no if you guys don't know what a Ural motorcycle is, it's a they come with a sidecar. So it's like a mo it's a old military motorcycle that has a military looking sidecar. Mm-hmm. And I remember seeing what here's how I got introduced to it. I was at the Molly or no the what's the little one? What's the little one next the to Hoff. the Molly? The Hoff. The there was this dude that had a camo Ural that would go there all the time. Yeah. And he had his dog in the sidecar all the time. Like a uh, like a the guy that goes to that bar all the time, right? Yeah. And it was a a German Shepherd that he would bring (laughs) everywhere, and he would go. And he was like allowed to take it into the bar, even though most of the time you're not. Mm -hmm. And he would go there all the time and drive around. And I was like, "That's the dream, right there. I want that." And then, like a few years later, I like was on Instagram or something like that, and I like found out what it actually was because it's like the only company that actually makes sidecar there's a like sidecar aftermarket sidecar company mm-hmm. but they're so expensive huh. they're really cost prohibitive they're not there's like one company that's in seattle that makes them i makes aftermarket ones for whatever bike you want okay uh but you order it custom like like you order it and then they make it then so they fabricate it the for Ural you or earl or whatever it's called Ural Ural comes with that's it. the only bike it's three wheel or two wheel drive. Sorry, not three. Two wheel drive. The front wheel drive. No, the sidecar side also wheel it hooks driven. into the. Most of the time, it's a free wheel, but that oh. one actually has a drive so train the, through it. So the drive shaft not only drives a crank for the rear wheel, it also has a shaft that comes out and hooks yes. into the. Oh, that's cool. And they're the only ones that do that. The other ones is just a free wheel. It's not actually attached. Oh, okay. I thought they were all just a free wheel. And that's it's like really that's really interesting. So it probably makes the bike a little bit better for like all terrain use. Yeah, and for a three wheel, absolutely. And they like do stuff, and you kind of like tip it, and whatever. Um, but it's kind of the only company that's doing it. And they're really expensive, right? They're super expensive. Like the the base model is What's like the base one cost. I want to say like nineteen or maybe sixteen. Yeah, that's a lot. Thousand. Like you can get a lot of bike for. You could get several motorcycles for that price, right? Or you can get one like really, really sweet bike that doesn't break down every day. Yeah. So they, and here's the deal with them: if you're buying one, I from all of my reading, don't buy one used. Get one that still has a warranty because you're 100 percent going to need it. 
Because okay, so they're like every luxury car. Yeah, they're like a cultural thing. It's like a Range Rover. It, yeah, kind of. Where like never buy it used. <laughs> yeah. Because and, the last person yeah. probably did some weird off-road shit with it as well. No, it's just because Range just... Rovers, even if they just sit in a fucking garage, they break down. Yeah. Like. That's these. Yeah. They're expensive. They're, they're totally nice, recreational. they break a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a Range it's Rover It's purely bikes. like a look and a specific person that wants them. Because mm -hmm. here's they what they. They want to look rugged. Right? Yeah. Here's what they've done. They're kind of like a Bentley or something. I, I want to say uh, this is. Bentley, according to my grandfather, and uh -huh. I've continued to have the same opinion, is they just kind of like put a bunch of shit on it that you don't really need because like they keep adding all this crap. Like you get one and it's got like, I don't know, a wireless phone charger, but it's like, yo, how about you make the engine that doesn't fucking break all the time? Mm -hmm. No, but you got to put like a, a, a an outlet in the side and like an extra, like they're all about like adding all these dumb features that don't really that's like every Add performance car brand. Yeah, 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 it's sort of like that. It's like, ooh, this one's got like a wooden handle crank or whatever, and you're just like, I don't, I don't need real cherry wood for my, <laughs> for my sidecar. You know, for the price that you pay, though, I want the real cherry wood, and I want it to be reliable. Yeah. Like, if you're paying a ton of money, you don't want to not. Have but they some also drop wood. exclusive colorways. So, like that one I sent you was a limited run exclusive oh. orange, gray, black. Wow digital camo <laughs> that they did and it came with like i don't know it was like they got some like designer I, I was, to like do it and so yeah, it's got their I was name on it when you sent me that one so i, <laughs> I right. never actually clicked on it because it was like right as i was driving over here all right but yeah like the colorway is sick it's like mm -hmm. it's definitely just it, it's kind of like so a, what it, it's kind of like a yeezy where it's just like it's you just buying it because you're just like it's cool there's it looks cool but there's no clout really unless you kind of know but like now, whenever I see them, I'm like, "Well, you have uh, dispendable income," <laughs> and it's always like some kind of uppity rich guy. That... Yeah. So it's a so it's like a dream car or dream bike. It's like yeah. a, if you have a ton of money. So type it, of bike. is that a Grail? I guess that's what I want to ask. Is that kind of a Grail? I would say so. Because I, I just it's, can't. I feel justify like a it. Grail is anything aspirational. Okay. Where and you have to like yeah. it's something that you can't really justify now, but you if you work toward it, get yourself into a position where you can just throw away twenty grand on a bike that's going to break next week. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fun. Though I have heard that they don't break as much on the new ones oh. that have the warranty, but like do not buy a used one. Like okay. they're just like the, like you're saying, they they like just over They're time, like every luxury car. So just, it's just like like any European luxury yeah. car. You buy a used Lexus, that's fine. That's a Toyota. But like a used like Audi or yeah. BMW or Mercedes it's... or Bentley or any of those, it's like the other they're thing about them, though, they're is they're kind of, I've also heard they're kind of not fun to drive. <laughs> they kind of look like like a heavy, slow bike. It's, it, Yeah, it's not fast. It doesn't corner well because you have to, like, lean into the corner, but you can't lean the bike. Yeah, because it's got the like sidecar. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah, that sort seems kind of dumb. so dumb. Yeah, I don't want that. It's... I can't, like I'm not that interested. I in bikes, hate myself but I'm really that I want it. Interested in that bike. <laughs> I want it for like yeah. stupid reasons. It's the same reason that you think the Subaru Baja is yes. a cool car. Yes, that's it exactly. It's just like the Subaru Baja, uh, yeah. where I'm just like I don't know why I want this car, but I just want it so that people. I want it people to turn their heads. It's the flexibility. It's like mm -hmm. I want attention for the wrong reasons. <laughs> like, yeah, I like. Sort of. I like that there. are a lot of objectively good bikes that would also get the exact same amount of attention. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Like, if you got a really sweet, like, Ducati yeah. for the same amount Even of Even one money, of their low-end, like... Like, I... if you bought a 20 grand Ducati, you'll yeah. get the same amount of attention. It'll sound better, and it'll be fast as hell. Yeah. I think... It'll sound like a Ferrari. I think, because... if I'm being honest, I probably would get a... Uh, 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 not a Ferrari. Uh, I'd Ducati. get a Ducati before that one. Good. Like I probably, it that's and definitely something I'll just also look break at. Down, I think, because it's Italian, and and my people are not I've, I've good heard... at bre at building things. That last. I've heard Ducatis are pretty sick. I've heard that they're no, pretty I good. No, I think they, I think their performance is good. But is their reliability good? I, from what I've heard, they're the, especially like some of their newer ones have just been really great. They're not so much about the like. Because I, I just assume they're owned by the same company that makes Ferraris and I, Ma yeah, Maserati. I, I'd always and assume Alfa that. And Alfa Romeo. And like, I don't know if Alfa Romeo actually. Well, like when I was Fiat. getting my bike, I anyway, thought. Anyway, they're owned by the same company that makes Ferrari. So yeah. I just assumed that they would break immediately. They make a great noise. They're fast and they break like the next day. That's what I assumed yeah. would happen. But if they're good, then that's cool. I mean, from a, 
I assume when I was getting my bike, I assumed that they, they were like completely out of my realm of possibility. And I had those same assumptions that you do. Uh -huh. And then I started and then like I, I found it in some list somewhere. I was like, great first bikes or whatever, you know, was bullshit that list. Scrambler? That scrambler is on there. Yeah, and then see, I've seen I've a few looked, of them. I've looked at their website yeah. every time you recommend you. the Ducati Scrambler. Yeah. And it's the least interesting one. <laughs> Like when really? I look at their website, I like that one. what I look at is I'm like, okay, which one has? You're which like one's a the Ferraris fastest? guy? You're a Ferraris guy. You're a speed guy. I, I don't like give a fast, fuck about that. Like actually, the other day, uh, like three weeks ago, I guess now, whenever I was last coming to the studio mm -hmm. to do an episode of Size Ten, I was driving, and a whole bunch of people on like fast motorcycles mm -hmm. were passing me on eighty four. Like they were like a whole group of people. That I were feel together. like I've been passed on my motorcycle by that same group, probably. and I felt and like my were, dick fell off. They were <laughs> weaving in and out of lanes. Yeah, being they're probably going to be killed. Like they're they're eventually going to be killed doing this. But they seemed like they were having a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and I was like, if I got a bike, I kind of want to be able to do that. Yeah. Whether I would do it all the time, make a habit out of it, you know, I'd probably try not to because I don't want to be a menace to society out here. But like. It seemed like a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, I've done not quite that, but I've weaved through traffic a little bit. And, dude, it is so fun. You feel like you're fucking Batman. It seems like <laughs> You're just like, run. oh, I wish I had a cape on. Right. <laughs> and is that the moment you're like when you're shifting like. shifting and just like leaning in. It's is that so when much you cooler. feel like, oh, my bike actually is a little underpowered? Because you have a pretty slow bike uh, as far I've as I've never. Go. See, I've never done that at high speeds. Like, okay. I couldn't. I don't think I could do that at like 65. No, I. 100% no, I couldn't do that at 65. But at like 25 to 65, I can accelerate like faster in your car mm -hmm. and do that and lean. Oh, and yeah, it, slow it, bike it, down low is still faster than like the average car. Yeah, so so like, yeah, a slow bike, but like mm -hmm. on around town and like smaller things, like so fun. Yeah. It, it, it's like driving a go-kart or something, you know, where you're right, just like. Right, but I feel like at some point you'll be weaving probably. a little bit on the freeway at 65, 70 with your bike and you'll be like, Time to buy no, 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 no. I will never be doing that. <laughs> You're never going to like. Not on that bike. And be, not on that bike. There's no way. Bike. There's no way. There's. It's just like, because I'm, so that's, I'm at that's the top. That's going to happen is you're going to be going 65 yeah. and you're going to be like, I want to pass this son of a bitch. This guy's going fucking the speed limit and I'm <laughs> on a bike. And and you're gonna be like, I can't do it. It's just different. And you're that. gonna be at the Ducati place the next day. <laughs> the next day, you're just gonna like, be like, turn this the, in. <laughs> I, I need the super leggera, super leggera. That means super lightweight in like Italian, yeah. the 1200 cc's or whatever the fuck, the fast one, mm -hmm. 300 horsepower. I need to go. I don't know, dude. I don't think Zero that's to 60, ever. Bro, that's just not me. I don't do that in my car. Yeah, but you could do it on a bike. I don't. Know. I don't know if it's That's, ever gonna. I'm I just. Like I'm too scared at those speeds to start doing that stuff. Like I can do it at 35, 45. Mm -hmm. That's. I'm. I'm I feel comfortable like it's there. Be like skiing though. It probably is. Where, where like eventually you're no longer. The scared bike isn't of the an speed. extension of you're me. You're like. This is the only thing that is fun. Nah, you're, I, you. You might be right because like like with skiing, ski. I've done it so much of my life. Yeah. Skiing, snowboarding, anything. I've actually thought about this a lot because like, I don't mind just pointing it. And just going straight down something. Like when I was teaching Jody how to ski and I was just like, well, you're scared in this part. And he's like, I got to make all these turns. And I was like, or you could just go straight down and just stop at the bottom. Because uh, that's how my little brother learned how to ski. He would just go straight down and hit the bags at the bottom of the, of the bunny hill. And then we would we got to the point where he would do that. You had to beat him and you would just like cut him off and make him stop. Mm -hmm. And then eventually he would just kind of like and then stop at the bottom. <laughs> it was like. He just would go so straight down. So he learned down. how to turn by stopping? By stopping. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, now I'm going to learn how to stop over on this side. But he would always just go point it. Yeah. But on skis, I have no problem doing that. And I, I forget about that until you're like with an adult who's never skied or has skied very little. Oh. And they're like super scared. Like, this is real steep. And I'm That's like, That's actually what the worst is when about? you go skiing with someone who like, have you ever had some, you, you definitely have. You've had someone you've never skied with be like, oh, I know how to ski. Yeah. I've been down. Oh. I've been on a black. Yes. And you're like, yes. Been on. A if they've been on a black, that means that they're scared on a blue. I've learned. Yeah. I've learned to just kind of take whatever somebody says with a grain of salt, where they're like, oh, I'm good at skiing. And you're yeah. like, oh, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. There's two. There's two things, two red flags. Someone's like, teach me. I'm like, hell no. 
Nope. Take a goddamn <laughs> lesson. Pay money to somebody else. I'm not doing that. Especially significant. Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely no, not. No, it's a good way to hate Hard somebody. Hard no. Hard no. That's sure. not going to happen. Like, uh, you'll just yell at each other. I'm like, not going to teach you how to ski. Not happening. But also, I always, it's, I forget about that too, where people are like, oh, yeah, yeah, I ski a lot. And, they, and, and then you um, go with them and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, honey. No, 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 no. You yeah, don't. I feel like I feel like the good question to ask would be like, is there anything you can get to with a lift that you're going to be afraid to go down? Because if there's yeah, any trail the... that you can get to from the ski lift, you and I will go down it. Yeah. It might take me slightly longer than you, but we'll go down it. It's fine. If it's on the ski hill within the bounds of what a lift can get you to, it's fine. There's a lot of people. That's not how they, they're mm-hmm. not at that level. And that's really the I level think you like, just that ask you need them. to be at to ski with us and to, yeah. for us not to wait a long time, a lot. Because, yeah, waiting or like, dude, get, oh, they get and, like, hurt. And you're better than me, and then but you're I'm like, by no oh. means that great of a skier. No, like, but you're I, fine. I may hold your own. I can hold my own. That's as good I, as I'm going to say. Tested, I tested, when we went skiing that one, we, yeah. have we gone once or twice? I don't just know. the once. Uh, I kind of tested, I was like, I was like, we'll see. I mean, you you kind of underplayed it, so I was just like, I wasn't sure. You said like you hiked the ridge and some of that stuff, but that's also like grain of salt type. So I'm like, ah, mm-hmm. we'll see. And then like I did a couple runs where like I just kind of pushed you a little bit, where like I went really fast on mm-hmm. some parts, and then you were right there, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, and I knew where you were at. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like you're definitely you definitely have skied way more than me, so like you're better. But but I'm I hold my own. Yeah, I, I mean I up. I spent. A lot of my childhood skiing and snowboarding. So, what you, what's Army up? Camouflage. Yeah, I was looking up. I was like looking for inspiration. Yeah. What are you doing, David? What are you looking for? Shout out to our sponsor. Bear closing all of my uh, closing all my tabs. Promo code I, size 10, 10 yeah. percent off your I first order. It and I was trying to re-maximize it. And I gotcha. Know what I was looking for. If you're all looking right. for some new underwear with mesh under your nuts, yeah. So when they sweat, it's wicked away. <laughs> yeah, it falls away. Keeps them fresh as a daisy all day long. Bare skin underwear. <laughs> promo code size ten for ten percent off your first order. That's a solid promo, yeah. dude. I can't wait till we get our our that bush light bush light sponsor. sponsor. Um, I really good. want Bearskin's new slogan to Dude, be we just fresh need a... as a daisy. <laughs> fresh as a daisy. Yeah, because it's got the ball mesh. Yeah. I I just like the term fresh as a daisy. Fresh it came as a into daisy. my head. I thought it was funny. I, I like said it. it. I'm into it. Yeah. All right. So I got to I gotta think about this. So um, you are going – we're going to go skiing. Mm-hmm. And uh, you wear these up to the hill because you're just like, I don't know, we might go to the bar at the at the place afterwards and oh, yeah. take our I'd... ski boots off and wear something hot. Yeah. And so we uh, we you wear we wore some heat up to the hill. Mm-hmm. We uh, we left them in the car and you were like not thinking. Oh, no, we took David's car and it gets broken into all the time. Oh, yeah. His red. Car. And somebody just saw his car and just was like, I need to break into that car. Mm-hmm. They broke all the windows. And the only thing that they were able that because David keeps his car real clean and mm-hmm. there's nothing else except for your Sakai blazers. And they were like, oh, them some heat right there. Stole them. Gone. Are you replacing them? Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, the these, 370. Or these whatever. were like sort of a. A, a little bit of a grail for me like they were a shoe that when they dropped i was like this was one of the high fashion collabs that i was like i really really want those yeah and i didn't get them that's why you you saw how excited i was when i saw them for what they cost at, at yeah. index i was like i fucking need these and so i got them but i i would i would just yeah i'd replace them for full price if i had to yeah yeah like i said these are i actually am like in the store they're do, one of my favorite pairs of shoes. i don't want to talk shit on index but I feel like the lighting there is really bad, and it makes me not as hyped on the shoes. Huh. That's my only downside to that. I love that place. The only thing, it's just kind of dark, and and then like the it just doesn't feel. I you're like, like when I went, I went into yeah, but I went into like a Stadium Goods, and I wanted everything. Oh. You know. That's actually helpful like, feedback for Index if they ever watch yeah, our podcast. I mean, like they, they I like the I like woodsy, like it's very Portland esque, yeah. like. They, they have the racks and they're that. and and like, but I feel like the lighting. It's more of a oh, here we go. Bjorn the fucking nerd. Uh, 
it's more of a yellowish hue. It's not like a white. Mm. I would use like more of a blue light and it's sort of like we use in the studio here. Like I would I would make it make the experience more exciting. Like get huh. me excited cuz whenever I go in there I'm like I'll see a shoe and I'm like less stoked on it than when I saw it on like um even StockX or something like that. Mm. So like in that store, I just don't get hyped on shoes. Interesting. The the new one that we went to, I I I like. Oh that yeah, one ball a lot. was life. Yeah, the ball was life. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Store I like that That's one. A really cool one. But I just feel like a. And I've been following their Instagram. They they're getting more and more inventory. They're getting some. Oh, sick! We got to swing by that. Yeah. <laughs> we went like right before Christmas, and it's like yeah, like ha, right when oh, they opened, course. right before Christmas. Maybe not right when they opened. But yeah. It was like they were pretty. We're new like, and... do you have any size ten? And he just laughed in our face. Yeah, he's he's like, like, I got like, these. Yeah, he's like, oh, I've got this pair that's beat to shit, and I'm like, yeah, there's a there's a pair of regular Air Force Ones. <laughs> yeah, there was, like, some white Air Force Ones. Yeah, or, some like... stuff you can just buy at the store. But, like... And maybe, like, a pair no, of Air Maxes. No, but they're know. getting a lot of cool inventory now. Like, that store is awesome. And yeah, it's new and it local out. in Portland. It's yeah. On, it's on Hawthorne. We'll have Shout to do a to field trip. But, yeah. No, definitely would replace these. And, uh, yeah. Cool. You want to take us out? I absolutely can. Thank you guys so much for listening. Please uh, like and subscribe on YouTube. Um, follow us. Follow us on Instagram at Size Ten Podcast. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Listen on Spotify. We're on all the platforms. And uh, I think that's about it. That's New episodes it. every Wednesday. You guys, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>